Hi, I'm Karen Erlinson. I'm one of the science educators at the Air Zoo. Since the weather's been getting so nice here in Michigan, I thought it'd be a good time to do some outdoor science observations. So have you ever noticed that your shadow, depending on the time of day, it's not always the same length. And also it shifts in terms of what direction it's cast. That's kind of strange, isn't it? So I set up Robbie the robot on a music stand in my driveway a couple days ago when it was sunny all day. And every few hours I took a picture and I also traced its shadow with chalk. If you wanna try this science observation for yourself, pick an object that will stay put, or you yourself could be the object if you have a partner that can trace your outline. Just make sure your partner traces your feet so you stand in the same position each time. So here are the pictures that I took. Notice how the st shadow started out short and then it got longer and then it got shorter again. And it also shifted position throughout the day. It kind of almost looked like sweeping the hand of a clock. The shadow was actually at its shortest point at one o'clock because it's daylight savings time here in Michigan. So if we were in standard time, the shortest shadows would be at noon. Have you also noticed that the sun is not in the same place the whole day long? It, everyone learns that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. That movement is why your shadow shifts because the sun, the source of the light, appears to change position. Um, but of course, remember, astronomers eventually figured out that it's actually the Earth that's doing the moving. So I have a model here to show you a little bit about that. So here's my globe. I'm gonna hold it up in front of my sun. The Earth has a tilt, and I'm exaggerating it a little bit here. Um, when the Earth is in this position, here's North America, where Michigan is. In this position, it's nighttime in Michigan. But as the Earth spins in a counterclockwise way, now it is daylight in Michigan and it's night in this part of the world. So it takes one full day to go through a cycle like that, one spin on, on the Earth's axis. But of course, while the Earth is spinning like that, it's also making a trip around the sun. So let me make a trip around the sun. How long does it take to make one full trip? A year, right? 365 days. So early peoples figured out that the path of the sun was predictable and they could use that to measure the passage of time, basically create a sun clock or a sundial. And so these types of sundials were useful a long time before we had mechanical clocks or digital clocks or atomic clocks. So stay tuned in a future video, I'm gonna show you how to make a sundial of your own. Until then, happy sciencing.